Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artisan Educator here and I'm in with Olivia. We are gonna do rebalance on her nails and I'm so proud of her because she had those crystals on and she didn't lose even a single one and she was really like, no, no, I don't want the crystals. So yeah, uh, now I'm gonna be struggling to take them off, <laughs> probably. No, oh, actually not bad, first one. And um, those nails, we have been busy and busy and more busy. So those nails are on for tomorrow, five weeks, did you tomorrow say? Tomorrow, five weeks. Um, yeah, so that's not bad. I would expect there might be some lifting. Um, we'll see, because Olivia's nails tend to lift sometimes. Uh, so we will see as we file. But first of all, let's clip the, those crystals off. And if you didn't see the tutorial how those nails have been made, you can just go and check it. Uh, the tutorial is on the channel. Uh, she's got some paint stuck in between the crystals because uh, she's really busy painting uh, the flat she got. So, yeah, I'm actually covered in the paint as well because it was helping her just a little bit before this recording. They actually came off pretty nice, I would say. Okay, I'm making sure the caviar bits are all off as well because I don't want the caviar bits to jump out during the filing. And then I'm gonna grab the file and just remove the old product. Because we want to go for some encapsulations, I need to remove it quite a decent amount of the product. And also, I want to shorten those nails as well, so she feel comfier. Get rid of the paint. They actually didn't lift it. That's good. Will be an easy job. And when I'm removing the product at the same time, I really want to thin out the free edge and make sure the old gel is blended with the natural nail. So Olivia really like black nails and like I was thinking even to do the black uh, nails the second time but she says no it's fine for a change you can go some color. We had dilemma if we want to go for pink, blue, purple or white. And we decided we will do something in white and purple for a change. That is great. My next step is to push back the cuticles. And her cuticles looks actually really nice. There is hardly anything to remove, to be honest. Like, I think they are much better than mine. I thought that this was like the worst I've seen them for ages. Really? Yeah. I think they look actually pretty good. Compared to like most of the clients, I would do, I would say. So cuticle bit, and then gently, I'm just gonna file one side. I was mostly just comparing to what they're usually like. Ah, okay. They still look great, I would say. So very gentle work, put back into the reverse and do the other side. Okay, next step is I've got the file. I need to make sure the edges from it are completely removed. And first of all, on the sides, I'm using like um, a bit older file. I wouldn't touch it with the fresh one. And I'm just filing those sides. So quickly would file the sides first.
middle and a tapered square because we will go quite shorter. This one has landed off so much. Yeah. Uh, and then we are gonna um, blend again everything around the cuticle area. So nice blend. Shorten it a really decent amount, I would say. It lasted really well because I was obviously doing a lot of work. Yeah, painting, sanding, well. all so, the sanding and everything, yeah. It lasted really well considering what I had to do. Okay, then do the same on this nail. Blend it. This one is so squint. <laughs> Again, blend it. Like, kind of remove the old color. I'm not too concentrated on scratching the natural nail yet. We will do that after I prep them with the shape first. So, I usually I go quite fast. at this stage and then we will inspect them closer to make sure there is no shiny spaces left because the good prep is a key for a long lasting nails and you cannot really uh, mess up that step okay i'm happy with that so we are going back now and just searching for any shiny places making sure there is nothing on the nail plate Now, personally, I think we should do on the middle finger some nice glitter encapsulation. So what I'm doing straight away is I'm filing. I could have done it with the e-file, would be much faster, I believe. Much, much faster. I'm just filing away the excess of the product so I can do a nice glitter encapsulation. And we could do a tiny bit of the glitter encapsulation on the pinky from the cuticle area. That's all good. Okay, yeah. remove the dust. Then use a dehydrator, glue scrap. Give it nice and squeaky clean. I don't need to remove any cuticle at this stage. We have cleaned everything what was on the nail plates and I will do a bit more once we um, finish the entire filing clean my desk and the gel we are going to use is the perfect rose it might be actually quite cold so it's going to be very cold it will be really cold <laughs> yeah an extra nail prep which dehydrates the nail plate again wait for it a couple seconds to dry sometimes i put the fan on so it's kind of uh, speed up the process of drying and then universal air bond brilliant now on the three fingers we are gonna go with the full rebalance so i'm just applying a nice and thin layer of the product nice and thin, thin layer here as well like i'm pressing my brush really hard because uh, i want to make sure the product sticks in well to the nail plate like i'm really massaging it into it Properly cap those free edge, make sure the product is, no, 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 make sure the product is everywhere. She tried to speed up. Because my product is quite cold, I'm straight away filling those nails. Like there is no need of uh, cooking it twice. And this is how I do it often for a client's Olivia as well. So that's why sometimes it's possible to do a set in like 38 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then pick up another scoop and once you release the product 
brush it and it's just a little bit too too stiff to me like I rather when it's a bit more gentle another scoop slightly bigger because the thumb is bigger and then start massaging it and so where I've got my apex I press very gentle and then at the free edge I do want to press it hard like really almost brush away the excess of it inspect them I could add touch more in that corner how do you avoid bubbles by not overworking my product cook it so like not lifting the, the brush, brush. yeah yeah, like the more you play with your brush and the longer you really take with your uh, nails, like the messier it becomes, like really. They're perfect, that should do, 10 seconds freeze. And then I can apply a nice and thin layer of the product in here, like everywhere. And then a nice and thin layer of the product in here. Like press it really hard straight away. I might touch up this one because it's annoying me. And the reason for it is like the, the stiffer the gel is, the less it sells level. So you have to kind of massage it more. I personally don't like it. I like it when it's nice and runny. Maybe not over too runny. Keep it like this. Earlier you said you like it when it's like this. So now you're saying you prefer it runny. Um, no, no. I always prefer runny. Like the runnier it is, the better. But I can still... Um, you can still work with it even if it's yeah. not runny. Now I've got some glitter here, all the brush, and what we are going to do is slap in some sparkles through it. Now I'm thinking we should do sparkles on all of them, oh my goodness that's so pretty. Look at the sparkle. I will probably file the free edge. Because I want some baby boomer in there, so just kind of faded it in. And then here we are gonna go for some snowflakes. I like those ones. Or do you want white? What ones do you like? I don't know. I like this one and this one. I like them all. Mm. Which one you like? This one? Brooklyn. Purple. Brooklyn but you've purple. got this one as well, so we can use anything. I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay, don't mind. she lets me decide. Wow. <laughs> if we were going pink, I would say 100% the these ones. But they've got pink and green. Yeah, but I'm saying if we did pink, it would be 100% those ones. But because we're doing purple, I don't mind which ones we do. <laughs> <laughs> Keep multiplying. Uh, yes. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay, so I want this one here, this one there, this one there. Do I want like this? Can I encapsulate it? Let me check it. Yes, 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 and yes, I can. I can encapsulate it. So what I'm going to do it actually is grab some... Oh no. Oh no, don't move the camera. I think it's okay. It's okay? It's yeah. okay, good. You can see my nails and you can see the snowflakes. Wow. Okay, I've got a tiny bit of foil which I just grabbed it from the drawer. And I'm just gonna them? flatten them and kind of get those frozen look. Cook. <laughs> So we are gonna cure it like 30 seconds now guys and in the meantime i'm just gonna grab some clear gel and i like to use the crystal one because normally it's like thin like a water but it will be probably pretty stiff and now so i'm just gonna open it up and as you can see it is my glitter gel <laughs> very glitter gel okay i take your hand that should be enough Yay, they are more flattened, which is awesome. So I'm just uh, gonna apply a nice and thin layer of this gel. I actually love them. Straight away dip in my brush in a glitter. And freeze it. 
Okay, when she's cooking, I'm just gonna clean my brush a little bit and pick up another scoop of the clear gel. Can I have it, please? And encapsulate everything now. So I'm just putting a small amount. And I do the same on the pinky. I like them just like this, like such a quick and simple set, actually. To be honest, I love glitter encapsulations. It's so easy. Pick up a scoop of the product and then just build up my apex. Pick up another scoop of the product. Release from the brush a little bit and then build up the apex. So I've got air bubble in here. That was a good question from Oliva and I'm trying to brush that bubble away. Check it. Happy, happy, cook it. Yeah, so now we have to cure the nails for a 60 seconds and then they are ready for filing. So I'll just qu quickly clean this mess. Now I have no clue where I got this glitter from, but it's so pretty. <laughs> I just find it like in a, in a drawer. And it's funny because it's unusual pot. So I'm wondering maybe I got it in a um, mm, bag or something. And then I just put it to the larger pot. I feel like we have glitters which are somewhere. Yeah, we had the, oh gosh, I keep poking the camera. We had lots of glitters um, in, but yeah, that's my desk. Clean, couple seconds longer, and then we can shape. Okay, UV cleanser to remove the inhibition layer. And then let's shape them. That looks pretty. Again, side. I'm not gonna put the fan on like that. It's not gonna be as much of the filing in here. Blended everything around the cuticle area. And yes, as I said, I will probably file away this glitter from the free edge. But I kind of almost wanted it an ombre, so... Can you do encapsulation on short nails? Yes, you can do it with any kind of nails. I, it is even possible to do it with the gel polish. Um, so absolutely any kind of length you can do it. Just make sure like your free edge is really nice and thin before you put the glitter on, because otherwise once you start filing, Mm, you will find yes glitter. you will remove the glitter so i'm always kind of like um making sure the nails are really nice and slim before i start putting the the glitter in okay we shape this one blend around the cuticle area Uh, go client view. Yeah, this one is not nice. Okay. I feel like my nails grow squint. This one, yes, it yeah. does grow squint. I noticed the shape went a bit funny the longer it grew. See, I got that as well on my index finger, like so. That's why I do a fresh set every maybe three times. So every three months, I would grab myself a new set. I think the next one would be that for me then. But maybe mine will be fine. Okay, blend this one. and thin out the free edge. Oh wait, this is the third set. Is it? Yes, we did first like purple Halloween nails with the black that you removed and then we doing these. I think they are pretty good for the third set. Maybe because we went much shorter. And I find it like if you kind of sh keep shortening the nails, 
um, the shape kind of tends to improve more. But if you're trying to keep the land when the natural meal is grow out quite a lot, um, you start struggling. So what I tend to do with my nails, like each time when I'm doing the fill, I would just go shorter and shorter. So this way I can still keep it pretty decent shape. Um, because if I would try to keep it the same length, uh, the things wouldn't look as pretty. And then the thumb. That's a wonky thumb. <laughs> Okay, so I need to file this side a little bit more. Am I holding my hand okay? You do. I'm just into playing like different direction and checking the shape from different angles as well. I just know I have a tendency to have either too stiff or, or too, too relaxed. Too relaxed. <laughs> so I overthink it and I'm like, is my hand normal? Is it too stiff? Is it too loose? That's okay. It's not bad. Yay. Okay, final checks. So I like to look through the entire nail, like making sure they are really uh, nice and pretty. Then white buffer. And when we're doing a white buffer, I'm just protecting my client's nail folds and I'm going pretty fast all over, all over, all over the nails to smooth them out. Okay, clean them again. And then let's move on into a great buff great buffer. I think it should be called great buffer then, because that's how I tend to call it. A great buffer. A great buffer. A gray buffer and then start smoothing things nicely out, making it even prettier. I love it as well because it's almost brush away anything which is around the cuticle area. You can use it also to push it and to blend it. I'm so glad they didn't lift it at all after five weeks. It was a joint effort. You did a really good job on the nails and I tried my best to protect them despite the work I had to do. <laughs> And guys, look what is also happening with all the filing. I kind of almost exposing the cuticles more, so they are gonna be easier to to trim. Especially that's like Olivia's cuticles are the most important cuticles for me. I mean, I do treat it all the clients the same way, um, but like with her, I do really watch out to do not do excessive work, so they are not overproducing. Would you like some jumper nail as well? Yeah, we could do it one. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had. Really? I've had snowflakes and had encapsulations and stuff, but I don't think I've had the jumper nail. Oh no, she has no jumper nail. You need to have it then. <laughs> I never used to get my nails done very often. I used to like just... Have a normal nail just, polish on. Yeah. Because either I didn't have time or you didn't have time to redo them and then... I would get impatient and I would pick at them. Mm -hmm. So nail polish was just a safer idea for me because if I needed them off, then I just took nail polish and it was off. Now it's a lot easier. Um, if I ever need to do anything to them and you're too busy, I can do it. Of course you can do it. <laughs> so. Okay, now I'm just trimming the cuticle. The most delicate way a mother can do it to her daughter. <laughs> like minimal, guys, minimal amount to be removed.
I feel like I usually do too much on myself because like I know my limit. Like I know I'm not hurting myself, so then I end up doing too much. See, I really don't want to do too much. As I say, like mm -hmm. the main reason for it is I don't want it to grow bigger. Mm -hmm. And I, I am proud the way your nails look. Because when you was little, I have been saying, like, do not bite them. Like, I was making sure they are not catchy. Um, you know, like, and I feel like, yes, your nails are absolutely amazing. Oh, I'm trying to remove too little. <laughs> making it more complicated. There we are. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning what is almost underneath of the fold. And then I do remove a tiny bit of the excess from the actual fold. Okay, so what is there underneath? Then once I've got the underneath clean, I do touch up the fold. There is nothing. Okay, happy with that. So we are gonna grab the green bowl. And we've got those uh, bit sets, guys, like it comes with those green bowl, and I really love it because you can gently exfoliate the nail folds. Almost like making it prettier. Someone who has, like, nails. Yes, absolutely. Let's see because you can there. also push back the. See what I'm doing with this one. I'm mm -hmm. kind of reshaping it because uh, that's the finger you resting your brush on, yes. or not? Yes. Middle. Yeah. In that corner. Yes. So I can really reshape the hard skin. Yeah. Mm hmm. Without of hurting you, like. Yes. Okay, should I be more fussy? I think they're not bad. They are okay. Maybe a little bit more blending here. Oh, wow. I just got some idea mm -hmm. because I wanted to do some ombre on those nails. Um, yes, yes, yes. We are gonna combine ombre with some jumper nail. I have, I have, I have done it ombre jumper, but not that way, which I've got it in mind. So, okay, clean the things, clean the things, and what we want to do it is so blue scrap again. I really like to make the things even prettier. He's still really long. Yeah. And my special mixture, because I like to use the white French gel for the ombre. So we are gonna use a scoop of this white. Scoop of the white. I'm sorry, I've got your spatula thingy on my desk. I was wondering, I felt like I had some spatula for picking up. Like I was sure I have it. And then those awesome purple, 142. Yeah, I took it a while ago. And mix it well. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Straight away because I'm lazy. <laughs> Use 
the do huge dotting tool to and slap the product. It would be easier for brush. I, of course it would be easier <laughs> to brush. That's why I start laughing and I say it because I'm lazy. Yeah. Okay, I've got a cut out of the sponge. And we're gonna blend it. Okay, make sure there is no fluffy bits and pieces and then let's start doing this ombre. Look how pretty it is, Olivia. Glitter and the ombre. Yay! <laughs> and then another new. So the first layer of the ombre, I'm peeling it quite high up, but at the same time, I don't want to um, make it too pigmented. Like, I want a really nice gradation of the color. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Cook it. Couple seconds cook. And in the meantime, I'm gonna grab some sugar glitter I've got in here. And prep my D-liner brush. I think there's another one back there. Is it? I don't know if that's not the other shirt. Yes, that's another one. That's yeah, we right could play, play with this one as well. Yeah. Okay, second layer. And of course I need to go with the brush now. So what I like to do it is I like to paint messy French. That's a nice shade of purple. Mm -hmm. And then grab my sponge and just gently blend this hash line. Sometimes if I manage, I don't touch the free edge at all. If you start getting fluffy bits and pieces, touch up your sponge on the back of the form. You can also go in here. You can try. You can try. I'm if curious. You don't like it, we can take it off. It's okay. It's not bad. What are we doing on the other nails? Let's start there. That might make it easier. You're doing a sweater and one of them. Yes, no, it's fine. We can keep one you clear. Touched. Yes, I did touch that. <laughs> I made fluffy ombre. <laughs> Cook it. <laughs> Cook it. I actually, I would like it, but I noticed it, the shape isn't perfect on that nail. Uh, so, can I have it? We're just going to touch up the shape of this nail a little bit more. Go up. And I wanted to show you that, guys, as well. So, in case I noticed something through... I don't know, like when I'm doing client nails during the process and if I want to protect the other nails, I ask my client to pull the hand up and then I can safely file the things and my dust doesn't go over there. But yeah, this is a bit chunky. My nails are too small. No, 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 it's my fault. I just didn't file it enough, I believe. So when I put the ombre, I didn't like it because if it would be nice and thin, I could probably like it. I mean, the reason probably I didn't file it too much, I was scared I will overfile it and I will file away the snowflakes. And I really didn't want it. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I know you do try so hard. Okay, that's better. This is so much better. Okay, clean it. I need to try it again. Can you see the difference now? I think it's better. I quite like it. You did say frosted look. Frosted, look, it is absolutely frosted and I love it. And I also don't want to make the ombre more pigmented. I think this is plenty and enough. So freeze it, top coat in. Okay. So I want to cover this nail. Actually all of them. Yeah, I think we could cover all of them with the top coat. 
cap the free edge no not all of them sweat aren't sweat or nails matte they don't need to be matte I don't like matte, like I think like um, it's better if they are not matte. I can't think I've seen them not matte. Oh, they will be kind of matte. What? Don't worry, what? they will be kind of matte. <gasps> I love this nail. I don't mind if they're matte or not, I just, I'm saying, I think online I usually see them matte. Yes, uh, I'm gonna make them shiny and matte. I find it is always best. Mm -hmm. Now I'm also not liking the. No, I know what I want. To... Perfect. Cook them. Okay, and straight away because that's why I didn't uh, put the top coat on one of the nail. I want to add a tiny bit of this color through it. Yeah, can I have it? So pretty. I love that glitter. I know you do love it. That's why I thought I'm gonna use it. Are you doing swirls? Um. Where is it? Line work or candy cane. It will look like a swirl. Don't worry. It wouldn't look <laughs> like a candy cane. <laughs> Kick it in. <laughs> so don't worry. Don't panic. And then once. So we've got some white perfect I know it's fine you cook it I will do a mixture of the sugar I should have no this one will do okay this one is fine you've got sugar here as well this you've one got has snow the pink you've got the glitter. no oh, wait, no they both got glitter they both got glitter this one is I will do a mixture I like like the more mixture I've got and the, the better like sometimes I put even a drop of the Aurora in there okay I take it now I can top coat this nail. And we will do a little bit of sugar. Cure it. Okay, and then some white. So, uh, white, white. No. Yes. We are gonna go for a sugar everywhere. Not too large, Olivia doesn't like when the things are over the top. Icicles. Very nice. Uh, very small ones, Olivia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're saying it like you're defending yourself. <laughs> Sprinkled. Straight away, I feel like we could do a tiniest snowflake ever. This is gonna be so rich. I wonder how it would look if you put a snowflake over the snowflake. I think it's okay. Snowflake over the snowflake. Yeah. No, but not the way that you did it right now. I mean, like, for example, on the top, I wonder how it would look. I feel like it would look a bit funny. And then that's perfect. This is just a perfect snowflake. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Cook it. <laughs> Cook it. Okay, I take it back. And. And. I want to do exactly the same in here, just so it is really nice and tiny. Do the dots. So one, you can even do it half of the snowflake here. OK, 
Okay, D liner. Sprinkle. Straight away, I'm going to pick up the jumper color. <sighs> Number fours. This is the fastest and the easiest way. This one looks like a Z. To me, it's a number four. That's going to be right or four is funny. I remember the primary school teacher didn't like it that I drew my fours like that. I always did it. Now we can do line in here and then the dots. That's the usual way. But I'm also thinking maybe we should do more number fours. And I like that idea. More number fours. I'm escalating. Oh. <laughs> I'm very pushed on bitch. I'm escalating. <laughs> How you say it in English? Exhaling. Say again. Exhaling. Exhaling. Exhale. Exhaling. Exhaling. Oh, like a, okay. Exhaling. Mm -hmm. Like inhale, exhale. I think. Unless I'm saying it weird. I'm not inhaling. I'm only exhaling. No, not exhaling. 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 Excelling is like being good at something. I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, keep behaving. Oh, Olivia, stop it. <laughs> Please behave. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Okay, then just sprinkle it. You love this um, jumper. I like it as well because it's slightly different to what I normally do to the clients. And since this is the last meal, I hope this one is cooked enough. No. Freeze it. Okay, and then the, this one. So since we've got the sugaring everywhere, I'm just cleaning my brush. Thank and you. then, thank you, bye. And then we are going to do white. So I want the white to be... really nice and fun. Really fun. I like these types of designs. Huh? I like the like swirl line work designs. Candy cane. Not candy cane. Swirl. <laughs> I know. I know it's the same thing, but... No, I didn't want it to, to make it too candy. They want it to be too obvious. I made it a little bit too thin, so I'm just going over it. So it's a candy, but it's not candy. And then sprinkle it. Okay, we need just like a 60 seconds cure, so proper cure at the moment. Olivia says to me, you didn't put the top coat over it, but I'm gonna show you how they will look once we cook them. So 60 seconds cure. Yeah, that's, that's them done. So we are just gonna clean it and look like this is so beautiful. See, that's what's top coated. But the sugar, can't, like, you don't want to top coat it, you no, want to I have it, but sugar, it's so nice, like, really pretty. This one was top coated. This one was top coated. I forgot you top coated that one, and I knew you were going to do the sugar. And yeah, we top coated. Top, and I know you don't put the top coat on the sugar, and you could, but you uh -huh. don't. Which is why I was like, you didn't top coat it, just oh, so you don't do the that's sugar. okay. Yeah, so the next step, it will be just to clean them and take a beautiful thumbnail picture. Guys, I hope you have really enjoyed uh, this video. You have learned something new. Sending you huge glittery hacks. And bye for now.